Before I get into this video, I just want to give a big fat thanks to everybody who's been subscribed to me or who has recently subscribed to me because a dumbass like me getting 500 subscribers over Call of Duty is kind of a tough challenge. So thank you very much. And uh, for the first episode of Camel Grinding to get Dark Matter, I'm going to be setting the difficulty of getting these launchers gold and diamond to cock and ball torture. That is how miserable you will feel going for these launchers. Thankfully, there's only two launchers in this game because if this were like Modern Warfare where there was like three or four, uh, cock and ball torture. So the only thing we're going to be talking about with the launchers is getting these double kills because this seems to be probably the hardest challenge. So on my class, I'm using Pert Greed with Flak Jack and an Engineer. You can switch Engineer out for Tactical Mask if you want. Scavenger so I can replenish rockets. Gearhead so I can get Assault Packs a little bit faster. I'm using Ninja and Cold Blooded. We're using a Smoke Grenade. I guess this is already one of my first tips that not a lot of people talk about, but I use an SMG always with a Speed Grip so I can get around the map really, really fast and then switch over to the launcher. One of the first tips right off the rip is if you see a lobby like this get the hell out of it you're not gonna get sh from it trust me all right so one of my very first tips as well is to have your map open on the scoreboard tab just so you know where your team is spawning and where you can predict the other team is gonna be obviously if your teammates are spawning over here the enemy team is gonna be where so what I like to do is I like to just smoke out the middle of the map, get to their side as quickly as humanly possible. And what a lot of people don't really realize is you can melee with this goddamn fat ass piece of shit. And it'll count as one of the kills towards your double kills. Because if you want to try quick scoping with this thing, uh, be my guest. I wouldn't recommend it unless you like cock and ball torture. There we go. That's two right there. Now, just as a warning, this challenge is incredibly tilting, all right? That's why the difficulty on this thing is literally cock and ball torture because this thing sucks ass. All right, so now that you know the gist of it, of getting to the other side of the map, opening up your mini map, making sure you're good, and going for these as fast as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the f up now and I'm just gonna show you what I mean. What the fuck? That's probably as much as I'd like to go for in two games. Obviously, it'll vary. Sometimes you can get one double kill in the span of three games, and other times you can get four double kills in a single game. Try to get to the other side of where your team is spawning and wait for one of them, melee one, shoot one in the back, literally just play like a bitch and uh, lick your own tears as they come down your face. It's literally that obnoxiously stupid. There's definitely a mental aspect to this. This is by far, like I said, the worst challenge in the entire game game um i wouldn't want my worst enemy to go through this because this is literally that ass like that's how bad this game sucks your teammates are pretty stupid as well so there's a lot of tilting factors and honestly that's just what you have to do like i said there is no actual easy way to do this every time you see people saying now oh, this is the easiest way to get double kills this is the easiest way to get your launchers in 10 minutes usually it's either cap or it's just clickbait i mean everybody's gonna do it i'm literally gonna do it as well all the little tiny things is gonna be what makes the difference in going for this challenge. If you see people over level 200, get the hell out of there. That's probably the brightest side to this challenge. Eventually, you just get shitted on so badly that the SBMM finally just skews in your favor and gives you the dumbest kids to play against. You know that stupid kid in the back of the class that still reads with his fingers? Those are the types of kids that you play against eventually after like five games of just getting shitted on and tormented. That's literally where you just need to take as much advantage of the system as possible. RPG is obviously a lot easier because it's not the Ligma. The stupid kid in the back of the class who still reads with his fingers, man. That's all I gotta say. So with the RPG, obviously you could be a little bit more aggressive because this thing doesn't aim in nearly as slow as the Ligma 2. Just keep in mind that this thing does not shoot in a straight line, alright? This thing curves as much as my There you go, another two. So 
Sometimes, eventually, you just get blessed. And when you get blessed and you realize that you got blessed, you need to take 100% advantage of that one. With some kids, you just know that they're 23, still a senior in high school. When you get those lobbies, consider yourself blessed because this challenge is not easy when everybody else is using flak jacket and when they're all level 200 plus on PC, mouse, and keyboard, all right? Those lobbies are not fun whatsoever. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Let me know if this helped you out. There's obviously a bunch of other challenges to do with the launchers. If you have any questions on those, go down in the comments below and I'll be answering everything because I respond to pretty much everybody. So yeah, let me know if that helped you out. Hopefully it did. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fully. I'm out of here. Two. Toodaloo. It's been